For over 23 years, Genuine Innovations has built a higher standard than any other CO2 inflation company. At GI, we make it a point to test each of our products for superior quality and performance. Every GI inflator is designed to be quick and easy to use. Prepare the valve. Twist on the cartridge. Connect for instant inflation. For the air chuck, push to inflate. For the nano, twist the cartridge back for controlled airflow. For the ultraflate and proflate, pull the trigger. When you hear the rush of CO2 and feel it getting cold, you know it's working, and that's a good thing. We also have just the right amount of air for each tire. Our 16 gram is perfect for the road and mountain bikers. Our patented 20 gram cartridge, the only one on the market, is ideal for 29er tires and larger mountain bike tires. Our 25 gram is for all large volume bike tires. The popular choice with racers is the Big Air. The Big Air will inflate two mountain bike tires with a single can. Genuine innovations, from flat to fat in seconds. Hi, my name is Eric with Biologic, and I'm going to talk about the BLAST. The BLAST is a cycle safety air horn that can warn motorists of your presence when you're riding on the road. Because, let's face it, sometimes a bell just isn't enough. The BLAST puts out 115 decibels of sound. That means it's loud. Very loud. How loud? Let me show you. The blast easily goes on and off your bike through a quick release system. You can take it off very quickly so you don't have to worry about it being stolen. The blast can be refilled by any regular bicycle pump. The volume of the sound can be controlled by the knob on the side. So that's the biologic blast, because sometimes a bell just isn't enough.
I was working a block away from where I lived, so it didn't make sense to start a car. So my friends would always say, why don't you ride your bike? And I would say, I don't have one. Next thing I know, I got a bike and my life has changed because the energy that connects to a bicycle and movement and achievement and all the other angles just brought me out of this place. See you guys later. It was really two dudes sitting around who were kind of falling out of love with Detroit. You know, I had just moved back from South Beach, Miami. Um, Mike was working for like doing odds and ends and we just needed something to break us out of our regular mold. It wasn't about starting this massive movement. It was about how can we reconnect with the city that we love. On the very first slow roll, I think three people showed up. I mean, we didn't hit numbers of over 10 until probably a year and a half. We hadn't brought 300 people together before. And so when we hit 300, that was when I really was like, okay, what's going on here? Because up until that moment, we knew everybody that was coming on the ride. But when you start hitting numbers over that, you start realizing that people that you don't even know are bringing masses. And that was the first time I thought, this might be out of our control. Two years ago, I came to my first low roll here in Detroit, and it's absolutely one of the most unique, fun, exciting bike events I've ever been a part of. So, you know, with the new line of lights and everything, it, it, it just made sense to come here. I've been a part of Slow Roll for four years now. Slow Roll means to me just basically every walk of life, getting together, getting on a bike, and going for the same bike ride together. Meeting new people, having a great time while riding, exercising. Basically, fun. That's all there is to it. I always joke that the first four years we ran from the cops because every corner, we just pulled up and went. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We didn't have that relationship, and that's what I think has been awesome, is that the city's really bought in now. Yeah, we're about bikes, but now I get phone calls about community activism. How can I get water to Flint? You know, so it's not just this, this thing that seems so simple, which is I ride a bike. It's what's the bigger picture to all of it? We've worked very hard to have people understand that we don't own this thing. No one owns this. So if you want this to last and be something you're proud of, get rid of everything that you came here with. If you came here and you're in a group of people, that group is now slow roll. But in that moment, dude, you can't deny what this thing has done, man, for the city of Detroit, man. There's never been a time in my life where I've never felt like I shouldn't be here. The only time I've ever left is so I can get the skills to come back here and be strong. As long as I've been alive, I've been a Detroiter. What can come from an idea is awareness. The awareness that you can make change. 